State police say the car belonging to missing Scott woman Ella Goody was found today. Goody herself is still missing. The discovery of her vehicle comes three weeks after her family first reported her missing on March 9th. News 10's Britt LaFaso, who has been investigating the story from the very beginning, tells us where her vehicle was discovered and how police hope it could lead to crucial evidence in this case. Britt. Darla Goody's vehicle was found this morning in St. Joseph, Missouri, the same city that the person of interest in her disappearance was located and arrested just last week. As police continue to question that person of interest, they say the next step in this case is to find any physical evidence that may be in Goody's vehicle, ultimately leading them to find her. So they're going to continue to look through that whole vehicle on a more deeper level other than just say, looking at it and confirm, yeah, that's it. Okay, what else can we see? If there's, you know, fires in the carpet, um, or is there something within the fabric on there? You know, maybe we can get a fingerprint off the off of the upholstery, off the window, or anything like that. So we're going to continue to go through that whole vehicle. Um, inside and out. Louisiana State Trooper Derek Senegal says they hope any physical evidence they find in Goody's vehicle could help them piece together what happened in the time between March 9th when Goody allegedly left Lafayette with Brandon Francisco and now. The main question, how did Francisco and Goody's vehicle both end up in Missouri without her and where is she now? All these things have to be put together and continue digging to figure out, you know, what's going on, how can we piece everything together if there's someone else, if there is or could be or, can, you know, maybe there is someone else involved with this thing. So we just have to make sure that we continue to look and not just say, hey, we're good, we found it, and just, and just close the case. We just can't do it that way. So we're going to continue looking and exhaust every effort that we have for this. Trooper Senegal says there's still a lot of focus on Brandon Francisco, the person believed to have last been seen with Goody. With Francisco in custody and Goody's vehicle found, police say they hope they can narrow down where Goody may be. I mean, a vehicle is just, a, just an object, just a thing, but we'd rather find a person wherever she's at. Of course, like I said, we find a vehicle that's that's good on, on the investigation part, and now we just have to continue with that. Like I say, sometimes those um, the evidence or clues lead to other things, you know. Like I say, maybe it could just lead to her and figure out where she is. Elegoti's mom and brother are now also speaking out about the investigation into her disappearance and public comments on social media. They're asking people to stop publicly accusing people of being involved in Ella's disappearance. Multiple photos, videos, and screenshots have been circulating on social media, and they say it is not helping the investigation. They've asked the Village 337 to speak on their behalf. The family is full right now with emotion, uh, trying to understand these new developments and you know what they mean or what they could mean. Um, the family is still hopeful that Ella is still alive. But right now, they are worried that all of these interactions, specifically with these uh, being reported to the FBI, reported to the Scott Police, is kind of getting in the way of the investigation that's taking place. If you have any information about Ella Goody's whereabouts, you're encouraged to call Louisiana State Police. Britt LaFosso, Caleb Y, News 10. Thank you, Britt. As we've mentioned, Brandon Francisco is believed to be the last person to see Ella Goody before she went missing on March 9th. Reports show in 2008, Francisco was convicted of statutory rape and attempted second-degree murder. Later in 2018, he was charged with attempted murder, conspiracy to commit murder, armed robbery, unlawful use of a movable, and obstruction of justice. He was set to appear in court for these charges the day Ella Goody went missing, though he failed to show up. Francisco will have his second bond hearing Monday in Missouri. At this time, he is fighting extradition back to Louisiana.